Yeah, what's good, guys? We are back with episode five. Got my boy 360 JD with us as always. Yo, what's up, yo, bro? yo, what's good, guys? Welcome back, sir. We getting back to it. You feel me? Had the mayor on a couple weeks ago. That was fun. That was chill. Last episode. That was a good time was right there. Favorites. Good views too. Yeah, thank you guys for the views, dude. Yep. We're loving that shit. Like you know what I mean. Shout out to everyone showing love. Shout out everyone rocking with us and everything supporting. Let me fire this up real quick. Excuse me. I got the uh, glitter box gelato going right now in the blunt. Smoking on some uh, called Cone Leche by uh, LA Made. Oh, that shit sounds freaky. It's like a haze. Oh, that's the one you were just showing me? Yeah. Yeah. Tell them about that box. Yeah, that shit. That oh, no, crazy. yeah. That box right there. Um, exclusive. Exclusive. Real exclusive. Um, it's actually sold out. Um, that is the the Caps Cup box. The um, it's by LA Made and uh, Capulator. And basically, what they did was they had eight different breeders um, cultivate eight different strains, and then the um, they just basically just like broke it down to one, and then threw it in the box, released the box, and then what you do is you smoke the box, scan a QR code, and then you takes you to this certain site, and then you vote. On which strain you like the best, and which one smokes the best? Dude, that sounds so dope. No, yeah, it is. I want to try that shit sometime. They be doing <laughs> another one. I want, dude. I want to do the Zy Olympics. The Zy Olympics. The Zy Olympics box. That do that. Yo, know, like basically what on. that is is sometimes they do fourteen different brands, or they'll do like uh, what was it? Like, no, yeah, it'd be like fourteen brands, two grams each in each bag. Zushi's yeah. always in it. Zope was in it, and you get you buy the box for seven hundred bucks at Green Wolf. Yeah. And then from there, um, uh, do you smoke it or whatever? And you get tickets to the event. Bro. And the event was crazy. Give me my money. Crazy. Or take my money. Yeah, take right? my money. I mean, <laughs> take my I money. Yo. Yo, it's probably next year, but yeah, I, I, want, I want to go to that. That'd be big vibes, though, honestly. We're getting out there, though. You know what I mean? We're going to yep. do a little Detroit trip here soon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure, got man. that. What's that grower's name? Shout again? out Norse Farms, man. That dude yeah, has some fire dude. weed. Some yeah. fucking pressure. Mm-hmm. See, we got the Jungle Boys line up here on the table. This shit's always smoking, bro. Dosey Killer. The Dosey Killer. Favorites. I haven't tried this one yet, but I'm going to get to it. You feel me? Yeah, I like that one. I'm a big fan of the Mints Crosses. I like the Mints Crosses. Those are always good. We got some good times <coughs> over here, too. I got the cool blue number eight, and then we got the banana cream cake and jealousy. Those are the new cuts, right? Yep. Yeah. Shout out good times. I got to try them shits, man. Those guys be doing their thing all the time. All the time, like literally. It's amazing. I hope all you guys had a good 4th of July, though. I know shit was crazy out there. You know what I mean? We've been gone for a couple of weeks. Nah, yeah, we've been busy. Shit's been, you know what I mean? Just living life, you know what I mean? Staying moisturized and shit. Uh, got yeah, to. Yeah, yeah got that's to. a fact. <laughs> yeah. Can't be out here dry and shit. I get too ashy for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One time I was ashy as shit, and like, my girl was like, babe, wanna play tic tac toe? I was like, yeah. <laughs> Not knowing what she was about to do. Yo, this girl scratches into my arm. I'm like, yo, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yo, I was pissed. <laughs> Fucking ashy as shit. What'd you do though for the fourth? You do anything special? What did I do for the fourth? <coughs> Oh, yeah. Um, what did I do for the fourth, bro? I forgot. No family cookouts, anything? Got the. Never, bro. No. We got... uh, yeah, like, that's the thing, bro. I don't have family around here like that. Oh, word, word. Yeah, no. Nah, yeah. like, all I got is my mom, and that's. And that's, and that's <coughs> really, yeah. I'm pretty sure I was at the shop. Making like, that money? Yeah. Yeah. That's what you gotta do, dude. Shit's getting crazy out here with inflation and all that shit, bro. Like, I, <clears throat> at the store I was going to, tax free on the res type shit. So, like, a pop, like a ba- like a pack of backwards is for four fifty. Oh yeah, I remember. Now that. it's six fifty. Yep, everything's that's going up. That's a lot, bro. That's a, like a big leap. You know what I mean? Yep, everything's going up in price now. It's crazy. Fucking gas, yo, gas is nuts. Yeah, especially uh, spe- especially in the West. Them plane tickets got to be crazy then if the fucking gas is up, bro. Um, like the most I've paid for like a plane ticket, like especially to the West, is probably like one hundred to three hundred dollars. Like now they're like double that. Like they're, they're like six hundred or seven hundred. Yeah, that's some shit, bro. Like, it costs so much just to live nowadays. You, know? you got to be doing your thing out here. Like, you just got to be doing your thing. 
Hey, that shit punching though. How's that haze hitting? I like it, dude. It's something different too. That's what I like about it. It's not, no, like lemon cherry or nothing <coughs> like that. Or yeah, something, something different. Something I haven't, <coughs> haven't had in a while. That's what I like. Like, don't get me wrong. I love like, so like I love my gelato crosses. Oh no, like, yeah, me yeah, too. Yeah. But I like to switch. It's it up good to some, get something sometimes. different like that, yeah. bro. Try, I, try some new shit. You know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I want, I want some of them old shits back. You know what I mean? Like, I, all these crosses are crazy. Don't get me wrong, but like, bro, like. Getting like an original granddaddy perp or like you know what I mean some of that OG shit. Some real sour like the, diesel. The real, yeah, the sour, like just how you said the haze. Or original diesel. Yeah. That's what I want. I want all that. And then like uh there's this grower named uh Skunk Tech and he has a strain called Apple Jacks and it's like sour diesel crossed with like something else, like sour diesel and something else, and bro, it is unbelievable. Apple Jacks, you said? It's called Apple Jacks. That's gotta be some fucking I, I'll show you it. I'm trying to go next month, so if I do, I'll grab you or some smoke. You tap into the UFC fights recently? Those are some crazy fights. Wait, what was the last one before? Uh, there was it, uh, the Adesanya one, right? Yep, Adesanya, and it was uh, Holloway. Was, dude, the, um, I forgot which. It was the uh, Sugar Sean fight. Yep, yep. Where he poked the dude in the eye. Well, I mean, like, yeah. you think he poked him? I think, yeah, I've seen the replay. It looked like he poked him, but, like, at the same time, that low, like, you see that low shot, that low shot? I don't know. He didn't I forget. Nothing. Oh, yeah, it's called MMA World and on on um, YouTube. And Sean was, there was, like, a little clip of Sugar Sean showing a uh, picture of the dude's eye, and he had the opposite eye closed. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see so, that. Nah, yeah, I've seen it. I, I, I'll show you that, that too, but, yeah. I was, he would have won regardless. You know what I mean? That dude was kind of old. I was <coughs> Adesanya fight was boring. I ain't gonna lie. What the, the Ade, Adesanya fight? That was kind of boring. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. Like he's getting a lot of backlash for being a boring fighter now. He's a G for coming out with the uh, to the Undertaker. Oh yeah, with the yeah. freaking yeah with that thing you put the, someone's ashes in. That was pretty dope. <laughs> Yo, he's pretty dope. Like I, I, he's obviously a, obviously a great fighter, but like sometimes he's corny. Like it's just trash talking shit. Yeah, be yeah. that corny. But like that, yo, that uh, what was it? The Holloway and Volk fight. I wish that was the main event. That should have been the main event. It was kind of heartbreaking seeing fucking Max lose though three times, bro. Remember we were watching the press conference and then the, uh, we watched the one video where that one dude was talking about it. Like, yeah, uh, Sean Strickland. He got knocked yeah. the fuck out. Yo, he got fucking smacked. He got knocked the fuck out. He was talking all that shit and then. That's the dude who knocked out Izzy though. Oh yeah, it was. Yeah, yep. Yeah. He's, uh, honestly, that's the fight that they're going to book next is them two. I think they're shooting for, like, December, I think I've seen. I want to go to one of them shits. Yeah, that's just going to be crazy. In Vegas? Oh, bro. Lit. In Vegas, man. This guy over here. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, our producer was yeah. just out there. Oh, at yeah. a 2K event. That's some crazy shit, bro. Yeah. Jalen Brown, Lil Dirk, making mad connections. That's pretty dope. Fucking dope. Yo, shout out to the producer. Mm -hmm. Show him love on the gram, you know what I mean? Yep. Oh, man. It's tasting wonderful. Oh. I, I rolled the whole 3-5. <coughs> Damn, bro. <coughs> Who's your favorite UFC fighter right now, you think? Fuck. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I do like Izzy. Even though the last fight was, wasn't all that, I do like Izzy, but um, I do like Max Holloway. Mm -hmm. um, I do like... Uh, um, I mean, I can't really say I like Sean Strickland. He's all right. <laughs> He's all right. Uh, I like um, uh, Volkanovski. Oh yeah. He's uh. He's a machine, that's, bro. That's a that's a bad dude right there. Yeah. He's about to move up too. I seen he's gonna move up. I think he'll do good. I mean, a lot of people struggle when they move up, but he's one of them dudes. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he still got his belt too. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. You see that, uh, how Dana White, what he do? He, uh, he gifted the Nelk boys a 250, I'm um, quarter, quarter M. M. A quarter mil, bro. I was like, I was looking at that, I was like, holy fuck, bro, it's all hundreds, too. I think he'd just be blessing them, because, like, when, like, they were promoting the holler head or, or, or whatever, like, he tried, like, I seen a video where they tried to, like, he tried to, like, give them, like, a little check, and they're like, we don't want nothing. Really? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, they didn't want anything from him, so I think that's why he just... <coughs> always uh hooks him up and shit 
Do you think you'd be mad if you were like a fighter and you seen that shit? Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. If, may, yeah. It, but, well, it depends how much I'm making. Like if I'm making, that's what I'm saying. If you're just a nobody, you can't get yeah, mad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you gotta be somebody. Yeah, you gotta earn that shit. But it'd probably make you like more hungry though, type shit. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, for sure. You'd be like, all right, bet I'm gonna make this money. Shit, that made me more hungry. I'm like, I'm trying to get my homie a quarter M for his birthday. Yo, that'd be <laughs> What's up, though? Oh man. There's been a lot of stuff going on around here though, like um finally getting into the new shop here in a few. Oh no, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah, you got your new shop. Yeah, that's getting done. We're waiting on the display cases. And then um some other stuff, you know what I mean? We got our grower on the team. We got him working hard. He's coming up with some strains, you know what I mean? I got him his hands on some genetics. So I mean hopefully that shit turns out crazy. Cause he produces really good weed, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's really nice. It's like really full, nice nugs, gets you high, but like the terps are lacking heavy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he's just got to dial in the terps a little That's bit. That's what I'm saying. He's, he's just got to dial into the terps and then uh, get more kind of exotic strains. So it's a process. It, yeah, it's definitely a process. And like, like I said before, I'm not no crazy. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not no crazy grower, but when I do fucking tap into it, it's decent. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm excited for when, um, for when, uh, um, I forgot who it was. Um, I was looking on Instagram the other day, and I seen uh someone had the uh Grandiflora, um, seed packs. True. Yeah, like the limited edition ones. What? Yeah, and uh, I think it was like Project Four and Five and something else, and there was like, then uh, there was another flavor. I was, Yo, I can't wait for those. Imagine forgot, people start faking we uh seed packs. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's gonna happen. That's gonna. The happen. one thing that were cool about these though is that on the back. Mark and uh, Proud of High, the two owners of Grandiflora, they wrote their signatures on the back of each one. Really? Yeah, and it's uh, authenticated. Pretty dope. That's dope. That's kind of like it's kind of like a one of one type thing. You know what I mean? Like a bunch of people get it, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah. That shit's never gonna come out like that again. You know what I mean? Yeah, like freaking um, my other buggy who actually got a box of this, he uh, he scanned his code and he won a limited edition uh bean pack. Really? Yeah. Bro. I don't know if they sent it out to him. They better have. That's crazy. But uh, yeah, that was dope. I didn't win nothing. I scanned it. Didn't win nothing. Fuck. <laughs> I never win shit on them. Pro- oh, oh on no, yeah, me either. Me either. Yeah, that's, that's dope, though, because, like, the shop, like, you know what I mean? We be getting some new people in there, and, like, I like educating people on that shit. You know what I mean? That's what I'm starting to do a lot more, and I catch myself doing it in the shop is, like, educating people. And, like, sometimes, like, people take it the wrong way, but most of the time they don't. Like, because I, I got a good way of talking to people, I feel like. Nah, yeah, you got to talk to people the right way. Yeah, shit. yeah. So, like, like I, don't, I don't make them feel dumb or nothing, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah Some people yeah. are like that. Some people make you feel dumb if you don't know something, but. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Some people who walk into the shop, they, like, they, like, don't understand the difference between, like, the quality of, like, the flower. Of, like, the different types of flower that there is. Exactly. And, like, why shit's priced the way it is, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. They just don't get it. Or, like, like a lot of them, like, when you see, like, uh, I've shown them some, like, locally grown stuff. Like, and when I say local, I mean 716. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I've shown them some local stuff out of Buffalo. And, like, they didn't think it was, like, local. They're like, this ain't, they, they're like, someone didn't grow this. They're like, this is coming from somewhere else. I'm like, no, this is Buffalo grown. Like, it's just coming straight from the 716. I'm like. Yeah, bro. They don't believe it. And it's like, honestly, I didn't believe it at first when I seen that good of weed coming out, like, from growers. I'm like. Because the homegrown I'm used to seeing was, like, shit that smelled like hay and fucking, you know what I mean? It was really, like, leafy. Most of the time, people just made hash out of it. Or yeah, like, uh, sure. Hash, or, like, they started blasting it with the butane or, like, uh, edibles. Edibles, too. Yeah. Speaking of edibles, my mom's bringing back the pumpkin cookies end of uh, August. I need some. End of August. I need some, for sure. She's like, I seen, uh, the, what is it? Bath and Body Works released their October thing, and she's like, we got to do our cookies now. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I can't wait for those. Shit. But, yo, it is crazy, though, that you say that, because, like, I have people in freaking California who want to try these. Like, they want to try those. Really? Like, yeah, yeah, like, freaking, like, I had somebody who was just like, <clears throat> like, they're like, how do you have those uh, genetics and you're all the way over there? I was just like, I was just like, what do you mean? I was just like. There's cultivators here too. Yeah. I, was, I was like, it's not only like I was like, I basically said like the gas ain't only in Cali. Yeah, you know, it's not. People would be surprised what they find over here, bro. That's what I was just. That's what I'm saying. Literally, that's, when I go, I'm just gonna bring like a bunch of those out there and freaking just show them a freaking uh, what buffalo grown weed is. Yeah, no, 
New York's on the come up, bro. Watch out. I'm mm-hmm. telling you. It is. Y'all are gonna see this episode in like a year and you're gonna be like, damn, New York's killing it now. Yep. I mean, we were already killing it, but you feel me? Like still in the baby stages. I just get I'm getting memories from a year ago on my snap of like shit that doesn't seem like it was a year ago. Like go. this last year actually went by slow and I like that. It was like uh because I'm seeing these memories, I'm like, oh that was only like I'm like, holy fuck, I was like, that was a year ago. Like Dude, when I seen um my memories from uh Mayor Sesh last year. Like I didn't know it was literally last year. That's what I'm saying. It seemed like, I was like oh, wow. whoa. Like, That's why I was kind of tripping. I was like, damn. I've met so many people in that year's time, made so many connections, you know what I mean? Just like built up just built the brand up itself, you know what I mean? Yep. You're grinding it out at the sessions. Yeah. Even you about you know what I mean? Like a year nah, ago yeah. you you weren't even like you really weren't even in like the the business itself. You yeah, know, nope. you know what I mean? You were just like a, you were just hunting this shit, you know what I mean? Smoking some good ass weed. But now yep. you're in the business yourself, you know what I mean? We're doing the podcast. Yeah, hell yeah. It's just crazy. It's just getting lit out here. Taking this shit to the top, too. Mm-hmm. And by the way, shout out to uh, Spaced Out for mentioning us on the pod. You oh, know what yeah. I mean? I you know what I mean? I, got, I don't got the headphones on. You can see the studs and shit. You oh, know shit. I, mean? I got mine on. I know your ears Let are hanging off real quick. But yeah, man, shout out Daniel Farmington. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know his ears stinking by now. (laughs) 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 Like like, sometimes I like to have him on, but then like, cause I like to hear myself talk. Yeah. yeah, Sometimes I'm like, all right, now I'm good. I ain't talking too loud, so I'm straight. Facts. It's pretty chill today. You know what I mean? We didn't have a guest on today, but uh, next week we got a guest coming. I'm not gonna say who, but we got a guest book for next week, so be ready, guys, for that. Stay tuned, and you'll find out. Sir, we got a new intro video coming too, and we got um our first sponsorship that'll be aired on the next episode. So that's pretty fucking dope. Hell you yeah! Know what I mean, we're climbing up there. TikTok's popping off. All of us on TikTok. It's actually um it's not under the podcast. It's under uh Clayton is seven one six. So you gotta look that up. But all the podcast stuff is on there. There will be other content on there. You might see some funny videos here and there. You know what I mean? We're gonna do some shit, and we got some people coming on, bro. Like, uh, my boy is gonna be coming on here in a bit. Uh, I gotta talk to him about it. I mentioned to him about it a few months ago, but he plays uh, lacrosse for in the NLL. Oh yeah, th- yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. you did bring that up to me. Hopefully, we can get him in here. You know what I mean? That should be fucking dope. He's verifying shit too. That shit's crazy. Yeah, no, yeah. I want to get um, I want to try to get a couple people on here too. Yeah, and if you guys have any, like, uh, anyone you want to see on here, you know what I mean? We can reach out to them. Yeah, like, recommendations, anyone yeah. that you want to see on here. Because right now, yeah, we're kind of just focusing on, like, the industry. And, like, well, like, the rappers, like, they tie in with the industry, you know what Yeah, I mean? yeah, for sure. So, like, that shit really ties in well. Definitely comment below and let yeah. us know. Yeah. Fuck yeah. You check out, uh, you probably don't be checking out the powwow and shit, right? No, we just had a powwow at the, uh, on our reservation. It's actually pretty lit, bro. What's like, a powwow? It's like so, like. See, right. I'm, I'm not too up to date on like all the all the resis yet. Like, I'm still learning about the one in Irving. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, all right, there's two different things. There's like a, a longhouse we go to. That's like for ceremonies. It's like it's like our church basically, but it's you know what I mean. We do similar stuff there, and then uh, a powwow is more just like a gathering where like everyone. It's a different type of singing. You know what I mean? Everyone yeah. shares their songs. Different people from different uh, tribes come there. Different food. There's different crafts there. Actually, my cousin uh, Cliffy, he's uh, I think you can look him on Instagram. It's a uh, Red Eye Leather Co. It's like yeah, he's he's got some crazy like custom leather pieces, bro. He makes some crazy shit, Native American inspired usually, but he does do custom pieces. Like I seen this necklace he did for someone. It was like the Star Wars uh, stormtrooper. Oh, it was dope. just a head, but it was like a leather piece, bro. That's dope. It was fucking crazy looking. But yeah, I mean, we just go down there. They got the dancers down there. They got dancers. They do the food. There's different native food down there. And it's called a pow pow wow. Pow wow, yeah, yeah. It's just yeah, singing and stuff. It's pretty dope, you know. what I mean, uh, yeah, I took the fam down there. We chilled out. <clears throat> a lot of culture down there, you know. what I mean, they're not. Uh, yeah, I never even knew about those. Yeah, no, it's pretty dope to see that shit. It's it's different though, you know. what I mean, it's different than like our actual like heritage and like our fucking. Like, you know what I mean? It's not, like, you don't do ceremonies and shit there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's just different. It's more like culture stuff. 
Oh shit. That what music you been fucking with lately, dog? Um she all right, like I fuck with um, Like what's your what's a couple songs you've been bumping? Like you get in the car, you know what I mean? You're like, all right, she's like, playing this one. I listen to a lot of like West Coast music. Like I fuck with Blue Bucks can uh Blue Bucks clan. Mm-hmm. Um I still listen to Draco, <laughs> yeah. Rafi the Plug. Mainly like a lot of West Coast artists. West Coast, yeah. yeah. You like that sound out there? Or yeah, whatever? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The beats too are a little different, you know what I mean? Yeah. I like that West Coast vibe. I like the New York though. I like the energy New York's bringing right now. I, I, like I still listen to Fivey and all them, and like right. a couple of New York artists, but like mainly it's just, it's just been West Coast lately. You know, what I've been fucking with is uh, like Chef G and like Sleepy Hollow. I don't know. I just they're fuck both with locked them. up, right? Are they? I think so. I don't or, know. Or, like last time I knew, like Chef G was. Like I was just bumping that song Molly in here, bro. I love that song. That's, that's what I'm playing when I leave, bro. Like that's the song. I, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. I be fucking with that song because they play some shit where like you can get sturdy too. They be playing some shit like you could just chill and vibe to with your girl type shit. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. Smoking on some good pack. Mm-hmm. I'm about to listen to some of those West Coast though because sometimes I'll be running out of music. You know what I mean? Nah, yeah. I be liking this. I be liking to switch it up. Blue Blucks. I can't even say it. I'm so high right <laughs> Who now. Who is it? Blue Bucks Clan. Blue Bucks Clan. I never heard of them. So that's, that's a fucking. That's a good name. I like that. Nah, yeah, it's like, hard. you know what I mean? It throws you off. <laughs> <coughs> so we were talking about our uh, Detroit trip that we got coming up, the grower and stuff. Mm-hmm. You've been out there a couple times already, right? Yeah. Now, but like, yo, like when I went out there though, it wasn't like, it just had became recreational, even though I had a med card and they accepted it there, but it just had became recreational shit for my homies and like they didn't have as much as they have now. Yeah. So like they opened a lot more dispensaries. Like they opened since like the last time I've been there. They open a lot more dispensaries. Like, now they have Doja Pack <coughs> over there, Backpack Boys. They have all this stuff they didn't have before. Like, they didn't have none of that there. I haven't had Backpack Boys in a minute. Nah, yeah. I mean, in a minute, I, the, minute. Last, the last flavor I had was a Super Bubble or whatever. It was all right. It was all right. Fuck, I can't remember the last one I had. I want to say it was fake, too. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I ain't even going to cap, bro. It, it looked all right. The only, only reason why I had that one, the Super Bubble, the Super Bubble was because uh, I had someone uh, from Cali bring it back for me. Oh, yeah. Nah, cause yeah, I see the like, they don't they don't got the authentication shit on their shit yet, do they? They probably do now. They have but... the Tapper Evident sticker, so if you see a bag and it comes out Tapper Evident, then like it's probably fake. Yeah, cause like they're sure. getting real like on with those like their stickers literally just goes right on top of the bag. That's what you gotta do though, you know what I mean? Like that's how you know you made it is when someone starts faking your shit. Oh yeah, for sure. That's what I'm saying. Like no one's done that to us yet, but like that's why I'm getting this shit. This shit's about to be trademarked, <laughs> but like, um. I don't know, dude. I'll be pissed though if someone was trying to take your shit. You know what I mean? Take your shit. That should be the owner of Backpack hot. Boys was at a store earlier and like um he noticed like his homies were pointing out were pointing out how they had the fake uh Scotty Pimpin bags, they had the fake uh lemon cherry gelato, uh black black cherry gushers, and he's yeah. like and he's like, Yeah, I might as well just buy my merch. <laughs> at, at least y'all have something real. Real <laughs> yeah, yeah. strange is just like serious. Fuck. That dude, he does MMA too. Like, Juan, really? like yeah, Juan, his name is Juan, Juan Quesada. And he is, yeah, he's a beast. I haven't seen him. I wanna, yeah, I've, I've seen they had some actually like exclusive drops out in Michigan though. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, they like, have been. Like they had the, uh, what is it? The Buffalo. Auto, the Doja oh, no, yeah, drop. The, yeah, Doja drop. They had the, oh, um, who else did they have? Uh, the, I mean, it's been flooded here, like all over. Um, but like, uh, the super dope. Um, the lemon, the uh, the lemon poppers, that cherry poppers, and bubblegum poppers. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, they got that. Yeah, they had the cookies out there. They have Gage Dispensary out there. That's their, that they're kind of like a partner with cookies. They carry a couple of cookie strains, but like, Gage, yeah, that's where I got all my shit was from Gage. Yeah. I've never been out there, but I've had people go out there and you know, what I mean, I went there one shit. time, and when I went there, they were doing the it was during like COVID and shit when I went, yeah, so they were doing like the you just pull up and they bring your shit out. Oh shit, that's kind of dope though. Yeah. Oh, you know what strain I've been like? You know what time I like must have for this year was that uh, Hawaiian rain. I oh yeah, I do want to so try that one. Fucking I'm, bad. Um, I got you. I'm going next month. <laughs> next month? Yeah, I'm going next month. Oh word, word. Yeah. Um, but like uh, um. 
I seen they had like the I forgot which dispensary it was. I think it was the, like the cookies that I'm gonna where I'm gonna be at in Cali. Um, they had like the burning honey butter for like a hundred a quarter. Really? Yeah. Fuck. Freaking um seven ten labs uh grams for like thirty five dollars. Yeah. Freaking like um um uh someone I talked to out there like they work at a dispensary and like they got seven ten labs dumb cheap there. Right. Fuck, man. I've been enjoying that 710's lab shit, bro. Yeah, the Ryzen. Dude, the Ryzen pods, honestly, like... Oh, yeah. I'm not a huge car fan, but I'll fucking... If I see a Ryzen pod, I'm getting it. Yeah. I be loving the Ryzen pods. Yeah, dude, these shits are official. Yeah, dude, them shits. Oh, man. The Percy pods. Yeah. I always forget about mine. I got that one in the resin one still. And I got Mad Pods sitting in my fridge. Yo, so we gotta hit the uh, we gotta hit our viewers with the educational fact of the day. You know what I mean? Let's do it. You know what I mean? A little educational, but uh, yeah, we just want to shoot you guys with like uh, the common misconception between like sativa and indicas. You know what I mean? Because I got a lot of people in the shop coming in like always ask. They're being like, "Oh, I want a sativa. I want to be energized." And I'm like, "Well, I got an indica over here. It's an energizing indica." Yeah. And like they don't understand that. You know what I mean? That's so why, yeah, we're just trying to get that out there, you know what I mean? Like, and like, I'm I'm not a fucking scientist in there, but some of the shit I do, we Google, you know what I mean? Or, yeah, or I just sure. talk to the grower, or I talk to growers and, I know. And like, um, Seven Ten Labs, they they made a whole big post about that, about like uh, THC per, per percentage, um, indica or sativa or sativa or whatever. We're gonna talk about that one next episode, though. Uh, yeah. THC misconception too. Yeah, for sure. For potency. Because a yeah. lot of people will be, oh man, you have no yeah. idea how many people come in and be like, what's the highest THC percentage you got? <laughs> no, that snap I had the one day. You remember that? Oh yeah, yeah. I gotta yeah, bring yeah. that shit up. This one dude, yeah. yo, this one dude comes in the other day, and it's just like trying to tell me like he was like, all right, um, I work, I work, I work at a winery and like. I know, like, it's not, like, you're not supposed to ask, like, what's, like, the highest alcohol content, but I'm going to be that guy and ask you what's the highest weed percentage. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, people, that's definitely a uh, confusion. Just because, like, that's, a, like, you know what I mean? It's starting to be more research and stuff and, like, For sure. starting to get a lot more answers. But, like, but yeah, the sativas are, like, obviously, there's more leaning towards energizing, but, like, it's more of a head high. Yeah, like, for me, like, I don't know. Like, I mean, like, I know I've definitely smoked some sativa, especially, like, and, like, um, I don't know. It's just, like, for me, it's just, I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's just, I just get high. Yeah, no, me personally, I do I do lean towards the indicas. But oh, I, yeah. love, I love I like hybrids. hybrids. Yeah, hybrids all day, too. But uh, just, like, because, like, I dialed it in a little bit. <clears throat> like I was, I started to get it. I smoked this one sativa and I got a headache, and I was like, "Bro, this shit sucks." Or like I smoked this other sativa, and I got mad like anxiety. Oh yeah. And I was like, yeah. "Bro, like you know, what I mean, I almost had a panic attack." Yeah, and that happened to me like, before. I don't like that shit. And so like, I do lean towards the indicas more, but like, I want to say the headache thing was maybe like uh, could have been a terpene. You know what I mean? Probably because I like we smoked like sativa hybrid too. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I was, like, I was thinking that, like, yeah, because, like, I noticed it was this, uh, when I did smoke sativas, but it could have been the grower or it could have been, like, the dominated uh, terpene, you know what I mean? Nah, yeah, I was just thinking terpenes about, have like, a lot to do with it. about, like, for me, that, like, I was just thinking that, like, when I smoke, like, a sativa hybrid, I don't know. Yo, you see that? Yo, I'm not, I'm not putting no one down, but did you see that shop selling roaches? Remember oh, I said, yeah, my, yo, that? I was... Dude, Dang. I was dying, yo. Some shop, yo, some shop, hey, some shop had fucking a jar, a mason jar full of roaches, like clips, bro. 25 cents a pop. Yeah, Come I mean, you got to get that money, bro. You know what I mean? People probably buy that shit. I might start doing that because my clips, my clips can be sold for a <laughs> dollar yeah, a pop. Yeah, dollar bro. a pop. Dollar <laughs> a pop. <laughs> <laughs> no, that shit had me dying, though. That was nice, yo. I was like, bro. Bro, I was getting that money. You know I what was mean? confused as ever, <laughs> and I just stared at the picture for a minute, and then like, and then like, I showed out, and then like, he just, I was just like, like you should have seen his face. It was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, and puzzled. I, yeah, he was puzzled. No, that should have me dying. Though, yo, yeah, yo, you, shout out to you for getting that money. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, that's all. That's what it's about sometimes. Nah, yeah, sometimes you gotta, you gotta get it however you get it. <laughs> yeah. And they be getting outdoors. Not, not yet. Like, they be uh, jamming, bro. Mm-hmm. Yo, and if you guys haven't yet, if you're new to the fucking show, um, 
if you're in the Ellicottville area, stop by High Roller. For get sure. Get your levels up. You know what I mean? They got a PS5 here. You can fucking run it in Madden. If you get scraped up in NHL, whatever you want to do, you feel me? Yep. And then uh, if you're in the Salamaca, Killbuck area, check out Outer Limits 716 Dispensary. We're on Google Maps. Check out Seneca Advantage and Salamaca. They're on Google Maps. If you're in the Irving area, Angola area, check out Canaragas. They're on Leafly. You guys Let's are on everything. Get it. Yeah, around Leafly, around uh, uh, Puffboard. Yep. And then, uh, Puffboard blowing up. Yeah. yeah. And uh, shout out to um, Sly Vapes. Oh. To the homies. They, they just hooked up with a t-shirt earlier. Oh, I, I just I seen the merch it. Job. Dope. Nah, the merch dope. looks fucking fire. Nah, yeah, he just hooked up with, uh, with the Sly PM one. The PM, yeah, yeah the that's PM. the one I want to get yeah. to. Yep, the one I, I got. gotta get to. Tell him to hook me up with a three X. Nah, yeah, he's the man. Oh, I'll pay for that shit, but you know what I mean, like. Nah, yeah, yep, he's gonna watch this, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's good, bro? No, yeah, man. Good. Yeah, like he supports us heavy, so. Yeah, we got. Uh, just wait on it though. Um, coming in the coming weeks, we're gonna have a website up. We're gonna have uh, where you'll be able to purchase merch. We're gonna have the Outer Limits merch. We're gonna have uh. What else? We're going to have the uh, Cloud Talk 716 merch. Hell yeah. I got t-shirts already made up. Those are already designed. Just got to order them. And then uh, stickers, too. We got yeah, stickers. No, yeah, I was just, just yeah. going to say we need stickers. Yeah, they're going to have sure. stickers of the, uh, the new one. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, check out the Instagram. Check out the YouTube. We're on TikTok. You know what I mean? Facebook, everything. Everything will be tagged below. Oh, yes, sir. Take a sip real quick. <laughs> mm. This good week got me fucking dry, bro. I'm about to crack this dosi killer though. I'm gonna let you guys know how it smells and everything. Dosi killer genetics is a dosi dose crossed with NBK, crossed with Sunset Sherbert. NBK is also known as a uh, natural born killer. Natural born killer. Yeah. Oh shit. And that shit's sealed, bro. It's got the can of verify on it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's got the cultivation. I mean, you, people can fake the cultivation day, but. The verification should be uh, scanned one of one, you know what I mean? I'm going to crack this open. All right, let's see what it's looking like. Oh, shit. You can definitely smell like the... That smells great. Like the sunset sherbet in there. Like, I could definitely taste it, too, and, like... I it's like a that, sweet gas. I smoked it, like, five times, bro, and, like, every time I smoked it, it was always white ash. Oh. Always. It's like a sweet gas. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, man. Holy fuck, bro. I wish you guys could smell this. If not, you know what I mean? Pop in the, pop in the shop. You feel me? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Pop in the Cantorogas or pop in the Outer Limits. Yes, you know what I'm sir. saying? Them levels would be up, up. Holy fuck. I haven't seen this one yet. I'm going to review this, though. You know what I mean? I'm going to smoke it in the next episode. I'll let you guys know what I think. I mean, you can give it a review right now, Jay. You smoked it. Tell us what you think about, like, rate the Terps. Which flavor is that? Dosey Killer. Dosey well, What would you rate the Terps? Uh, one out of ten. Definitely an eight. Eight, and that's yeah, an elite. Sure. That's an elite too. Oh yeah, no, yeah. All I smoke is blunts. Right, right. Yeah, so. So you're saying eight for Terps? What about uh punch? Like, how how hard does it hit? Punch. Punch. Um. The punch was there, but, like, I want to say it was about, like, a 7, but, like, the high was about, like, a 9. Or, um, I, like, like, I smoked it a couple times. Yeah. Yeah, I, oh, bro, bro, like. Does it roll good, too? Yeah, That's and, like, uh, it's sticky, and, um, and, like, uh, it's super freaking, like, like, the trikes on that are crazy. Yeah. But, like, um, I'm going to get more of that, and then, like, I want to grab the, uh, the rosin with it. Oh yeah, yeah. They have the. It's always killer. nice to have the same strain of that shit. Yeah, yes, yeah. dude. It tastes so good. So like, I'm like, all right, if this tastes really good in the, the flower, I can only imagine how the rosin tastes. And like, it's the full spectrum. Like, I think it's like first pull. So like, it looks like uh, it looks like um, like clear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel you. Like you can see through it type shit. Yeah. So overall, what would you give it that overall rating? Like including terps, including punch, including high, all that shit. I I give it about all right. Like I rated it in seven. I'd probably give it about eight point five nine. Eight point five to nine. Yeah. yeah, you hear that, yo? That's good. You know what I mean? Because he's a fucking strain hunter. You know what I mean? Like, nah, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, I like it. 
I'm, I'm gonna let you guys know next episode though what I think of it. And then yeah, definitely um, that uh yeah you gotta let them know too what you're smoking. Uh, give them a review. You know what I mean? Oh no, yeah, and the freaking um, on the um, on the good times, the cap cup, and the, shit, cup. And the good times. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna definitely let everyone know which how each flavor smoked and everything. Like, like I said, they're mainly like well the first three that I smoked have mainly been like OG Kushes and like hazes and shit like that. Yeah. But um, but I know like as I keep opening each jar it's just gonna get different <clears throat> different genetics i always ask people too like how does it roll you know what i mean because i've had some weed like good ass weed but like it just sucks rolling it sometimes you know what i mean it's yeah hard. but it's always it's good especially you know? like when like it's like real like dense or whatever yeah real dense or and if you- it's like like flaky and it expands like runs i always have a hard time rolling runs i feel like Unless it's really fresh. Dude, I ain't gonna lie. LA Made has a good runs. Yeah. Hell yeah. And, and like, yo, like, their stuff at the Piece of Green dispensary, it's not even that bad price-wise. It's like 30, like, the most expensive it they got is $40, tax included. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, like, that's probably, like, the like the runs and cap junkie. Yo, I want Mayor to do a... Oh, man, we fucking... I was busy as fuck this weekend. We were supposed to hit this pool party, remember? Yeah, I know. I was... Yeah. I hit him up the past two days, but I've been so busy, bro. I've been freaking... Out freaking 12, 13 hours a day. I get home by the time I get home, it's like dark 1 a.m. Yeah, and do what I gotta do when I get home. It's like 1 a.m. and I lay down, wake up at 5, 6 a.m. Do the, the grind, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. like, it's gonna be like that, you know what I mean? And hopefully, when we're like 40 and shit, we could chill. It's gonna pay off, yeah. No, it will, it will. That's a fact, especially when you're doing like multiple things, like yeah, more than one. So, that's one thing I always like about myself, like you know what I mean, like I'm not like not bragging, you know what I mean, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah. my grandpa, well, I, sh- I shouldn't say myself, like my grandpa taught me, uh, he always gave me like a good work ethic, you know what I mean. He's always just like grind, grind, grind. He's like work, you know what I mean, like he's like work, and he's like when you work, be a good worker, you know what I mean, like all that shit, you know what I mean, and like uh, he wasn't agreeing with my grind at first, you know what I mean, with the weed and shit, yeah. but when he saw that stack of money, bro, he was like, oh shit, like, you it know was what different. I mean? he respected it. Cause the one time he came in my room, bro, he seen like, he seen some stacks on my fucking uh, on my dresser, and then like I walk out, and then like uh, I forgot what I was doing. I think I, I think I was buying him dinner or something. Or I was doing something. I was giving him money. I pulled out my freaking pull out my pocket, and he's like, "Damn, he's like your knot's bigger than mine." <laughs> I was like, "Not." Nah. I was like, "I never heard someone refer to it as a knot." See, see me, bro. Like me, like I've been like I've been trying to be humble and shit. Yeah. But like, but like, like, like I don't even like. I don't remember, like I don't even remember the last time I even like flexed like money. Oh no, I don't like even flex money at yeah, all. Like, I, like I haven't mean? done that in so long. Nah, and then, like yeah, that's just corny. And then like freaking like unless I you just, got like fucking mills. <laughs> yeah. No, no, yeah, no, yeah. Like I mean, like it's it, it's it's whatever if you freaking. Flex. No, that's not. You know what I mean? If you're having a good time, you know what I mean. You flex a little money. You know what I mean? But if, yeah, if yeah. you flex a, a nice ten, all right, but. I think the last time I did it was a, it was a nice little piece. You I, know what I mean? Nah, yeah. It feels like, good though. You know what I mean? Because you you work up to that shit. I did you know it I mean? one time, one one time, and I was like, honestly, I ain't trying to let people know what the fuck I got. Nah, I feel you. I feel you. I feel, you. I feel you. Definitely. Like, I remember that pick we had at the casino. That was like a seven or eight piece, I think. So I mean, we was chilling. That was a good night. That was was that yeah, before the sesh, or was that a different time? No, that was a different time. I think. I think it was. Yeah. Was it? No, it was oh, a different no. time. I think I can't remember. Oh no, yeah, it was. No, no, yeah, yeah, it was. It was a different time. We had the Bel Air going. We were fucking at the casino for yeah. Niagara Falls, man. That we're was a good time. It down in the whip. That was a good time, yo. Remember we was talking crazy and there was the people in the whip next to us. <laughs> yeah, yo, we was talking stupid, bro, and uh, people next to us heard us. This shit was hella funny. Damn, I wonder who's playing out there, bro. Yeah, like, well, like they play music no matter what out there. <laughs> yeah. What you, um, you was talking about that fucking taco place. What was that? We got to hit that shit up. Because I've been oh, looking the, for some good food, bro. Like, nothing's been, like, Oh, the place good. in Dunkirk? Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, by the building I used to live at on Central Ave. Mad good. Yo. Mad go. good. I went and had Chipotle yesterday. Flame? Flame. I haven't, I haven't had that in a while. I like, yeah. oh, the only time I get it is when I, I go out to Buffalo or whatever, but. Yo, I want to get, uh, you know it would be dope? If we got a fucking, yo, it's a long shot, but yo, what if we got a Bills player on this bitch? That'd be cool. That'd be crazy, right? Yeah. I mean, Buffalo, you know what I mean? Buffalo shows love. Yeah, you you never know. I'm going to try to do that, bro. I'm going I'm to reach out. <laughs> That's good. I seen a couple know, of the Bills players, though, were chilling with the boys out on the Irving Rest. 
Oh yeah, they yeah, were fucking yeah, riding yeah, four wheels and yep. fucking popping wheelies. And... Oh yeah, they they probably be doing that in their off time. Which I would. That's what I'm saying. Especially if you got your own. Especially Benny too. He'd be fucking with the res and shit. Now you know mm-hmm. what I mean. He was at that uh, the shaman show. No, yeah, no, the one yeah, vibe I stopped drive. by there. Yeah, you stopped by there. Yeah, yeah, I stopped by there and um, I was uh, chill at the uh, Good Times tent for a little bit. Or and uh, they were able to give him some flour. Really? Yeah. I wanted to tell him, like, yeah, like, this is not no ordinary flower, though. I just yeah. wanted to know, that, like, this is some gas. Like. Good times gave him, like, gave him flower? Yeah. Oh, that's dope. You know he's gonna fucking love it. So then, like, That's I, a fucking pack. Nah, yeah, so I was, like, I wanted to tell him, like, yo, this is some pack. Dude, once he hits it, too, he's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He probably won't even believe it. He'd be like, this is coming from Buffalo. I wonder where, uh... His shit's based out of, you know what I mean? And I just love how it's organic, too. Yeah. It makes a huge difference, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Trying to break this shit up real quick, bro. I need to... There we go. How, how's them, them woods been? They've been good, you know what I mean? I I, I was having a little trouble. Uh, there was a Russian cream shortage on the res. <laughs> <laughs> so, I had to go back to my old ways. I had to go back to... uh. What's it called? Dark Stout Clayton, bro. I was, uh, you know what I mean? I was smoking some mad Dark Stouts. Y'all didn't want to know Dark Stout Clayton. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I need to... Uh, no, with the Russian creams, though. Those are my shits. I need to freaking uh, text the Broadly bros. Order some Broadly's. I've been slacking. I've been so busy. Facts. Man, summer's flying by, too, dude. We got to get some shit going. Like, mm-hmm. We got to get out to the West. We got to uh, go to the Astor Club still. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, I definitely want to go to that Astro Club for sure. Mm-hmm. That's a must. We're going to do all that shit. I can get some shit out there, too. I like going to, uh, on uh, 204 on Broadway. Mm-hmm. It's the best place to get your smoke at. Freaking um, Baked Bodega. It's my guy. <laughs> yeah, I want to get that motherfucker. And, like, he, like he's mad cool with uh, D.O. and all them. He be getting, like, all, like, the... With D.O. Farms? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, um, he blessed them with uh, Black RS-11. Black RS11. Yeah, cause Dio, like Dio's got a couple new gen, like well, a lot of new gen eggs coming, and uh, he was able to get them early and shit. And like he don't be taxing either or nothing, so that's why I, I've been dying to go see this dude. Bro, he be having the pixie sticks and all. Fuck. Pixie sticks, tubes, everything. I wanna. We were, I think we were talking about the seven one six farmer. I, we get, we it. have to go to uh the Detroit first, but yeah. what, what were you saying? The uh, hash papers from 716. Oh, no, yeah. No, yeah. He, I forget uh, he basically I, he, makes them, too. He messaged me. I forget when he said uh, they would be done, but I need to get my hands on, like, five of those. Yeah, man. It's just hard, because you got to catch them at an event. Yeah. Or you got to go down the lines then. Right. You know, I'm trying so. to get them shits, bro. You know what I mean? You throw them on the podcast. I'll we'll do a review. I want to try his <laughs> rousing, too. I don't know. Yeah, like, we're definitely going to be doing flower re- reviews on here and shit, too, like that. Yeah, if any so, of you guys want, you know what I mean? If you guys want to get your some shit, some exposure, we'll do reviews. We've just been doing, like, Cali brands, because, you know what I mean? We've been smoking good, but, like, yeah, we definitely want that local shit in there. We want, uh, yeah. or if you just got some shit on deck, you know what I mean? Yeah, I've been trying to buy buy more local and shit lately. Oh, yeah, definitely. I've been trying. Just to... I had this one from this local girl where he was a uh, old head, too, man. He was an old head. But he, uh, it was called Incredible Bulk. Oh, that, <clears throat> that shit was fucking gas. But like, remember how I was telling you how Norse, um, he's got the uh, it's sour diesel and jet fuel gelato oh, by Compound oh. Genetics, and then he's got the red, the red, the Red Bulls, uh, white runs, and uh, it's white runs, and I think grape gasoline. Grape gasoline. Yeah, I want to try that grape cream cake or the uh, the grape uh, no frozen grapes. You had that one, right? The frozen grapes? Didn't you have frozen grapes? The weed? <laughs> uh, I forgot which one it was. Frozen grapes. Who was that by? Fuck, I can't remember, bro. I think you got it mailed to you, right? I think it was some shit. I'm trying to remember. I let it... Mailman. Yeah, you know, like, you, you know, like, if you see, like, my... Because like, I don't throw away my bags or jars or nothing. Right. I just save them up. I literally have a big ass trash bag. Just, a bag, just stuffed. Holy like fuck. to the point, like it's gonna rip. Bro, do the math on that <laughs> shit someday. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I was like, I don't know if I want to. I don't know <laughs> if I want to. Uh, yeah, 
Oh yeah, and it, like it's just it's it's piling up. Like I have a lot of good times in their bags. Like I have like yeah. over like 150 good times bags in there. I had a lot. Like it went, uh, I just threw them out to when uh, you, they did the competition. Yeah, I, won I had like, I had like fucking I had like 32. I had 32. Of them. How many did you have? I had two. I had I had maybe close to 100. When you did the competition? When I did the competition. Oh, you would have beat me then. So I thought I had more than you. No, no, nah, nah, nah. I mean, dude, like I like I try to go every weekend. Yeah. Every weekend. Try. I'm trying to get out there, bro. It's a drive for me, but it's worth it. That's oh, no. Yeah, it is. It. Cause yeah. Yeah, I feel you. I'm going to get out there, though. Nah, yeah. Like, like uh, from the shop, it's only like 45 minutes to uh, Buff, so That's it's it. not that bad. Yeah. But then, like, but then if I drive from my house, uh, say if I were to go, like, to the mall or something, it'd be yeah. like, it'd be like an hour. But then, like, say if I were to go to, like, Niagara Falls to, like, Chipotle or some shit. Then it'll be like an hour and like five minutes, but I always cut off time. Yeah, always. I feel you. I'm about to smoke this up. You feel me? I'm high as a kite. Oh yeah, bro. This about to cut it, that is me? definitely a hybrid because like, like my whole body feels good and like my mind feels good. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. you. Look mad relaxed right now. Yeah, hell yeah, I'm relaxed and I have such bad anxiety too. So yeah. like. I freaking like like this girl I talked to like she was like like I'll be talking to her and like she'll like she'll hear me start getting worked up I start talking all fast and shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, you can hear that shit though. Relax your voice. You know, I mean, it's just medicine, honestly. Hell yeah, it really you is. Know what I mean, it really is. Oh shit. But yeah, guys. Um, you know what I mean. We're gonna wrap it up today. We got a uh, guest coming on next week. Mm -hmm. This is gonna drop Friday. Tune in. You feel me? We got more special guests coming on. Like I said, stop by, get your levels up. Any of those stores, rewind it back, check out the Addies. You know what I mean? It was a good one today. Y'all yep. stay moisturized out there. It's hot out. You feel me? It's been a wrap, though. Yeah. Peace, guys. Peace. Peace.